Good evening and welcome to God's Roadmap, episode 18. We're in the third chapter, The Dream, this evening. And we're continuing in this. It's the uh, third night that we're going through the third chapter. And I had challenged you all to read 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. And I am reading it... Uh, a new in the English Standard Bible, uh, English Standard Version Bible, and uh, and my friends at church love this translation, and so I'm going to read from this translation uh, just to show that it's not a translational issue, even though I haven't looked at this. In this translation, it's going to read the same. I'm sure of it because the words were translated correctly. And so I will read, and the title in chapter 2 is The Man of Lawlessness. Now, according, now, excuse me, now concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together with him, we ask you, brothers, not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed, either by a spirit or by a spoken word or a letter seeming to be from us to the effect that the day of the Lord has come. Let no one deceive you in any way, for that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first in the law the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction who, who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called God and object of worship so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. Do, not, do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And you know what is restraining him now, so that he may be revealed in his time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains it will do so until he is out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will kill with the breath of his mouth and bring to nothing by the appearance of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is by the activity of Satan, which is with all power and false signs and wonders and with all wicked deception for those who are perishing because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. Therefore, God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false in order that all may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we ought to give thanks to God for you Brother, beloved in the Lord, because God chose you as the first fruits to be saved through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. To this he called you through our gospel, so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers, stand firm and hold to the, to the traditions that that you were taught by us, either by our spoken word or by our letter. Now may the Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved us and gave us eternal comfort and good hope through grace comfort your hearts and establish them in every good work and word. And I will say, 
Amen. And so he tells what is going to happen. And he tells them what they should be doing right now because they were worried that they had missed the rapture. Again, going back to the beginning of this chapter, now concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him. They were afraid that they missed that. And he says, we ask you, brothers, not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed either by a spirit, an evil spirit that's deceiving them, or a spoken word, somebody comes and is speaking lies to them, or a letter seeming to come from us, or people sending false letters as if it was from Paul. So, all these things could have been happening to this church at Thessalonica. To the fact that the day of the Lord had come, that they had missed the rapture of the church. And so, he tells them what will happen first. One, that there would be a falling away, and then the Antichrist would be revealed. And so we'll talk about that again tomorrow. We'll hit those points, and then we're going to press on. But I want you to read it in your own Bible again. Look at what is going on here. Look at what he is trying to portray to them. He said, they should know. Didn't I already tell you these things would happen first? He's saying that they should know that it wasn't going to happen until this lawless one was revealed and that the falling away would come first. And so he's not telling them something that they wouldn't see, but he's telling them something that they would see and saying, you're going to see this. Didn't I tell you you'd see this first? He that has ears to hear, hear what the Spirit says to the church. I pray that you'll have a blessed night. I pray that you'll read your Bible. I pray that you'll pray, you'll meditate on the Scripture, and you'll ask the Lord to reveal it to you. There's a reason that in a dream, God sent me to this scripture. It's because the truth of the sequence of orders of the end times is right here in plain sight. And in order to uh, uplift their theological beliefs, they sweep over this and say, oh, that which was taken away was the church. The church was restraining the church hasn't been restraining. The church has been a, doing a terrible job of restraining evil on this earth right now. That's why the Lord is coming back, because the church isn't doing their job. By faith, 
by faith, we should have a righteous community by faith. And yet, Jesus said, will the Lord find faith when he returns to the earth? Not much. Unfortunately, people don't have enough faith to make a difference in their community because they want to cower down under those who want to shout us down. But through faith, God shut the mouths of the lions because of the faith of Daniel. I think the Lord is able to shut the mouths of lions in Congress. He's able to shut the mouths of lions in the community. And that he is able to put back in the closet, which should have never come out of the closet, and the church should get out of the closet. By faith, take our place in our community, being righteous leaders in a holy land. That would be beautiful. Well, I think I've said enough tonight. I pray that you will go back through and read again. Get another translation. Read from another translation, even as I did tonight. I wrote in the book in the King James, because it's not copyrighted. And uh, I can publish it in the King James, but I would challenge you to read it in a friendly version uh, friendly translation to your reading and uh, study and meditate. And the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you and the Lord make his face to shine upon you this evening in Jesus' name. Amen. Night.